Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Renaissance Card Breaks. I am Michelangelo. Today I have uh, purchased a high voltage box. Um, you can get them on eBay, um, but I believe he'll include in this box a, a little card that has an email address to buy from directly, and you can save a little bit of money that way, I assume, because he's not paying the eBay uh, fees. Um, without further ado, let's just get going. So, this is the outside packaging. And what I like about some of these other boxes, granted I didn't realize it was packed like this, so I ripped or cut into the box a little bit, is that they uh, also sec in, or, uh, have a secondary use for card storage. So, some of the other boxes that I've used or bought um, don't seem to have much use secondarily because they're smaller, but this one um, can definitely be used for storage. So, let's see what we got here. So, literature, high voltage box. Uh, every box contains a PSA graded nine or higher. There's two big ones that you can get, which is the Ronald Acuna uh, Heritage All Star Rookie PSA 10 and the Tops Update Anthony Rendon PSA 10. There's also some other key rookies in here. So you get some supplies. There is the email address for future order. It says for future orders, but I, I did this directly. I watched a video, saw the email address, emailed him directly as a new customer and was able to save uh, some money. And then we have our packs, which popped open a little bit. And then this will be our graded card. So we'll do the graded card last. Hopefully we'll need some of these supplies and because we pulled something good. As for the packs, let's go through our lineup here. We have baseball 2000 or tops baseball 2017 series one, 2019 update. I bought a fat pack of update the other night. I'll upload that video soon and uh, definitely got some decent cards. We have 2018 Bowman, 2019 tops heritage. 2016 Series 2, Bowman 2020 Fat Pack, a Diamond Kings 2020, 2018 Archives, 2010 Update, 2015 Top Series 2, and 2015 Top Series 1. So as I generally do, I like to open these in chronological order, especially with some of the... I only got back into this hobby about a month ago, so with anything that's basically older than uh, the last couple years, I'm not too up on the value of the different sets. So I will save the Bowman Fat Pack for last, I think. So I'm not sure always what we're looking for what cards are the best in each set but let's just get to ripping so this is the 2010 tops we have a francisco cervelli jerry hairston jr peter borjas rookie card chris perez evan longoria Paul Canerco, CC Sabathia, and Carl Crawford, Victor Martinez, and Carlos Santana. We have a Tops giveaway card, and then we also have a Justin Upton Outfield, which is a Tops attack, which is another looks like redemption card, which I am sure is long since expired. Now we have the Tops Series 1 2015. And that, it's a retail pack, but 
Tyler Skaggs, Nathan Valdi, Joaquin Arias, Chris Johnson, Al Albuquerque, Pedro Alvarez, we have a free agent 40, David Cohn, Salvador Perez, Alcides Escobar, and Rene Rivera. Nothing good in that pack whatsoever. We have a Topps Series 2. And just so you know, the high voltage box, I think on eBay they're listed as $90 plus $9.99 shipping. Um, and again, you can get it a little bit cheaper if you order directly with the email that, address that you saw in the beginning of this video. Eduardo Nunez, Brennan Bosch, Bronson Arroyo, Red Sox team card, Darren O'Day, Brian Pena, that one is numbered to 215, Mark McGuire Highlight, Alberto Callespo, John Singleton, and he looked like a good player for a little bit and then just completely flamed out. So now we got the 2016 Top Space Ball Series 2. And I'm always I'm always learning on these. I don't know often how to spot it quickly. I know there's usually an H somewhere on the hobby packs, but I don't know what year they actually started doing that and if how consistent they were with it. Socrates Brito, rookie card. Trevor Plouffe. Corey Knebel. Knebel. Ruby De La Rosa. Johnny Cueto. John Axford. Arodis Vizcaino. A Kyle Schwarber rookie card and a cup card. I like that one. Jared Hughes. And the Brewers team card. 2017 Series 1. I haven't done lookups to see what these packs are selling for and then whether or not the packs have a good value for the lineup, but the guy was super easy to deal with. I will definitely be buying this again. Unless uh, I'm getting completely ripped off, you can let me know in the comments, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> Even just a couple, like the Bowman 2020 Fat Pack right now is insane. A graded card. I mean, even just the grading price of what, 10 15 bucks, um, you know, the price was right for sure. Josh Reddick, Edison Volquez, Adam Wainwright, Jake Lamb. We got a Justin Verlander then and now. There's a nice one. Yoan Moncada rookie card with the 87 design. Adrian Beltre, he should be a Hall of Famer. Cleveland Indians, Francisco Rodriguez, and Sean Doolittle. Sean Doolittle's got a pretty funny Twitter handle. I think it's something like Obi Sean Kenobi for Star Wars fans. Tops 20. Oh, we'll do the archives first. I'm going in out of order here. I don't know how good the update series is, as I said, but I did pull a couple Vlad rookie cards and other things like that. I love these older, these throwbacks. This is the Archives 2018. Um, just because it reminds me of collecting cards growing up, but I don't think they hold much value. So we got a Goose Gossage, Don Mattingly, a Billy Hamilton, Byron Buxton, if that guy can stay healthy, he might be a good one. Felix Hernandez, Matt Carpenter, Ediana Hechevarria, and a John Lester. Not sure if any of these are special uh, or if they have any short prints or anything like that. I don't know enough about that set. Let me know in the comments if you see anything. And we have the 2018 Bowman. I can open it.
We got an Alex Verdugo rookie card. Excited to see what he can do in Boston. Max Fried rookie card. Victor Robles rookie card. And I know for the Bowman, um, I guess the rookie cards don't hold as much value as the first Bowman, but they are better than just a generic card. We got a Michael Kopech Chrome Prospects card. We have a Talent Pipeline Chrome from the Rays. A Wander Javier, a Kristen Stewart Prospects Chrome, Sean Murphy First Bowman, and a Jason Martin Prospects. Overall, that was a nice pack, I think. Uh, again, I think the First Bowmans are the ones that hold the value in these sets, but rookie cards are still nice. Uh, at least in current markets, the Luis Robert rookie card seems to be doing pretty well for Bowman sets. So this was the 2019 Topps Heritage. We have a Mookie Betts, Ryan Zimmerman, Tyler Malley, Steven Souza Jr., another Sean Doolittle. I wonder if that might be a high number. I don't know how the high numbers work. I think it's over 400, but maybe it's 500. That That's numbered to 495. So we'll set it aside just in case. Brad Peacock, Gregory Polanco, Dylan Bundy, and Matt Kemp, Sporting News. So nothing unbelievable at this point, but still a good variety of packs to open. Um, and that graded card still could be a monster. The supplies themselves between the box and the uh, top loaders and the sleeves, given the scarcity right now, and I cannot open this pack. I'm going to have to cut it. Didn't cut enough. Um, there's already a decent value up front. And then when you add in, well, I don't remember how many packs, but you can count them when I, from when I went through the pack lineup, on top of uh, the chance to pull a lot of these decent cards, it's a good value for sure. This is the Diamond Kings. We got a Frank Baker. I like the way this card feels too. That's a nice one there. Luis Robert rookie card. Cody Bellinger. Patrick Sandoval, Matt Face, Johnny Pesky, Stan Musial, the 3000. That's got some gold to it, but it is not numbered. And a Kirby Puckett. Two packs to go plus the uh, graded card. Here we have the tops. 2019 update. Had a little bit of good luck with this product, even though I know there's nothing crazy in it. Edwin Encarnacion. Thomas Pannone rookie card. Jordan Luplo. Griffin Canning rookie card. Hansel Robles. Robles. Homer Bailey. We do have a Hannes Wagner insert, Kurt Casale, Arenado All-Star, Curtis Granderson, Carter Kaboom rookie card, that could be good if he can do something, Yasiel Puig, Josh Donaldson, and Ronald Acuna Jr. home run derby and cup card. So, not a bad overall value. Now to the 2020 Bowman fat pack. I mean, I have not opened a ton of Bowman 2020 except for when I get these boxes because they are nowhere to be found on the shelves, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Matt Chapman, Yusei Kikuchi, Luis Castillo, Hanser Alberto, Mike Soroka, Robel Garcia, 
rookie card. Jesus Lizardo rookie card. We have an Angels Chrome Talent Pipeline. It's always a bummer when those are the Chromes. That's a nice one. Bowman rookie card for Aristides Aquino. And it is a 90s throwback. And then we have a Christiane Robinson Bowman Scouts Top 100. We have a Sixto Sanchez, Joe Ryan First Bowman, Adam Hall, Christian Pache. There's a nice one. I'll take that. Jason Dominguez First Bowman. That uh, used to be worth, what, 30 bucks. Now it's worth maybe 7 but it's still a really nice card. And I think it gives us a reason to uh, sleeve it up. So that's probably the best card we've pulled, considering the upside of this kid. And I just saw a video on... Um, I think it was Facebook, maybe it was Twitter. I mean, this kid is what seventeen years old, and he looks looks like he's twenty five uh, in terms of his build. It's, I mean, this if he's if he's got an eye for the ball, man, he's going to be something special. Chris Valamont, first Bowman. Aaron Ashby, first Bowman. Brian Campsuano. Taylor Trammell. Dylan Carlson. Also might have a spot this year, so he's going to be a good one, hopefully. Xavier Edwards, first Bowman, Chrome. Another Christian Robinson, Chrome. Anthony Volpe, first Bowman, Chrome. Riley Green, Chrome. Cody Hess, a Justin Dunn rookie card, Dylan Cease rookie card, Nolan Arenado, Lorenzo King, Pete Alonzo, Paul DeYoung, and a Kevin Biggio. So that was a nice pack. I think that might be the first fat pack that I've opened, and I am definitely a fan. Um, right there, that's pretty big. So I'm, I thought I had this in the screenshot the whole time. I must have moved it over. So that is the high voltage box. We got the Jason Dominguez now. Here is our graded card. So I've purchased a few graded cards that are on their way to me, but this will be the first graded card that I physically have possession of um, in my collection. I have a bunch that I'm going to be sending out for grading soon. Um, once I get a little bit more comfortable with what I'm doing and how to look at these cards, I have a, a big selection of cards that I would like to send for grading. I know there's a pretty big backlog right now as well for that, so... Uh, there we go. So let's see what we got. Hopefully it's something good. We got one of the big ones. We got... One of the ones from the literature here. So, again, I'll remind everyone the two big high voltage cards were the 2013 Tops Update Anthony Rendon US 233 rookie and the Ronald Acuna. And there, my friends, is the PSA 10 2013 Tops Update Anthony Rendon. I'd say overall, this. Uh, was a pretty great product. Obviously, I had some pretty good pack luck. Um, there you have it. Those are the two best cards sitting there in front. High voltage box. Highly recommend it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. This was Renaissance Card Breaks. I am Michelangelo. Please like, subscribe, or drop a comment if there's anything you see in the packs that I might have missed. Thank you for watching.